la 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 let me see you go la 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 bugao hello pigeon lovers how far how na day simona forgive me forgive me right i've been away for jesus christ it's almost six months the end of this month will make it six months and i've been seeing your comments and it seems like i'm serious but if i tell you what thing happened to me if i tell you what thing happened to me you now go understand now go now go forgive me are you ready to know what happened let me show you what happened <laughs> <laughs> Wahala, pigeon lovers, your teacher is pregnant. Eh? Your teacher Chike is pregnant. And my pregnancies are never ever easy. My pregnancies are terribly difficult. So I just couldn't do this. Like I had to take a break, but I am back. I'm back with a banger in today's video. I go teach on a pigeon phrases that are trendy. You know when you're on like Nigerian blogs, you want to understand what people are saying in the comment section, those kind of trendy, just very few, I'm going to teach you just very few trendy pigeon English words and maybe one or two phrases that we can, you know, we can use in 2024 in the comments and you, you'll be like a part of, a part of, you know, the, the clan. <laughs> <laughs> a part of the pigeon group. Are you ready? Are you ready? If you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. Hey, as you say, I don't sit down with na Fanta, na juice by the side. The first one I'll be teaching you guys today is e choke. Uh, e choke. You know when they say choke me? Eh, eh. E choke. I'm sure you've heard that a lot and I think that it was David Doe that, you know, a lot of these things come from like music, slangs from new, like, new releases from these our Nigerian badass Afrobeat artists. So it choke means that it's um it's amazing, it's loud. Like for example, your success, this is your success choke. Like this is your new car choke. Like like it's choking me. Like the success is too overwhelming. Do you understand? Like it choke. You know, so I can say, ah, oh, more, your new job joke, you're a big girl now, you know. <laughs> eat joke, joke is it. <laughs> the next one is cruise. I'm sure you've heard people in Nigeria say, ah, I just catch cruise, or ah, we they catch cruise. Cruise literally means fun, like we're having fun, or, you know, in the comments, I can be sarcastic, I'm just catching cruise, it's nothing serious. So cruise means fun like something on serious so i might just be insulting you jokingly but it's it's just all cruise i don't mean it okay i can just say this your pregnant this your pregnant nose this your pregnant nose is too fat i might not be serious it's just cruise it's nothing serious so i did catch cruise okay i did catch cruise or we they catch cruise like ah oh, don't take us seriously we just catch cruise just no reason i'm okay so we're just having fun it's nothing deep okay then violence violence you know when two people are fighting online hey god it's like you know violence like you're not you're not you're not you're not a preacher of peace you're not a preacher of love you know when you're just like today i've had it up to here i'm going to show this person who i really am violence is the same thing as violence but not in the literal sense of it it's not that deep it's not as deep as the actual violence do you understand what i mean it's just it's a it's an online kind of thing where you are trolling somebody or two people are fighting online people will not be like oh more violence do you get what i mean so if you see those kind of things don't be don't be don't be shocked this next one is close to violence okay it's almost the same thing no it's not almost the same thing but i'm sure you've heard us say woto 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 means like in abundance like thoroughly you know so when they say ah i give that guy woto woto it means that I, I finish that guy, I finish the comment section with two, with two. Do you understand? Like, or oh, oh, more, I give that guy with two, with two. It could be that I beat that guy mercilessly. Do you understand? Ah, they give him with two, with two. Like, abundance of beating, abundance of defeat. Do you understand? I go give you wutu wutu. No reason me. I go give you wutu wutu. I go scatter everywhere they craze. I go give you wutu wutu now. You know, so it means that I'm going to just give you like an abundance of ta 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 ta. <laughs> this next one has to be the pigeon word of the day. Normally I would do pigeon phrase of the day, but this should be a word. And this one has ginger. Let me see you go, 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 let me see you go, la, 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 buga, oh, buga, ah, buga, hmm, buga means like 
pride. Like, show off, you know, like you did Bugao, you just did Bugao with this your new car, like you're just showing off, you're just all over the place. You just did Bugao with this belle. Like, my friend will tell me, eh, this belle, they catch you. This belle, they catch you, meaning that this pregnancy is just shocking you and you're just, you just did Bugao with the belle. It means that you're just showing off with the pregnancy, you're just showing off with with your new car, you're just showing off, you're just really showing off, you're just, you're just a buga, and it's from that song, I told you, let me sing it again, let me, let's go together, let me see you go, la, la, la. let me see you go, la, la, la. buga, oh, like, you will go low, and come up with pride, come up, like, just stay low, they will think that you're not coming, they will not see you coming, then when you come, you go, they buga, so it's not like arrogant pride, okay, it's not like arrogant pride, it's not like bad pride, it's like chilling pride. <laughs> it's like chilling, like it's like chilling pride. Like you're just just having you're just living your life and your friends are feeling you like ah, I'm enjoying you know, you're, you're enjoying you know, I'm envying you, you're just a buga this your new marriage. Do you get what I mean? So it's for mostly positive things you get. Area, streets, worry, streets. You guys have seen that video that I did in the streets of Nigeria. You see those guys that I was like, I was hailing, I was like, area, they would say street, I would say worry, street. Street is a way to hail someone or describe somebody who is savvy or street smart, like somebody that is very sharp and knows knows the streets. Do you get what I mean? So you can say, I'm on that girl, a street girl. That girl on a street girl, it means that she's she's in the streets, she knows what she's saying, or you can just literally just heal your guy, say, guy, you know, say you be streets, or you can say, you know, say I be streets. You know, you get what I mean? Like, oh, they know fit cheat me, like they know go fit cheat me because I be streets. It means that when I say I be streets, street or the normal streets, I'm sure you can see it on the screen. It means that I am I'm smart, like I know what's up, I know what's going on, so nobody can cheat me because I know what's up. So you can say, oh, that guy in our street now. Ah, that guy in a confirmed street. That guy in a confirmed street. Meaning, don't even go there. <laughs> this one is very popular. God, in the past how many years? Five years. It's been one of the most trendy words out there. And it is Jackpa. 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 Anyhow, Jackpa, right? Jackpa literally means to leave, okay? It means to escape or to migrate or immigrate, do you get? So if I have relocated, for example, to Australia or somebody, maybe John, relocated to Australia, you can easily say, ah, John don't Jackpa. Eh, the person will now say, eh, like really? Where did Jackpa go? He go Australia. Do you understand? Or, ah, Jack, uh, John don't Jackpa go Australia or... Your, your friend will be like, eh, eh, you know, I've done the whole eh thing, so check my previous videos. Eh, like, you don't go to Australia, uh -uh. When did he take Jackpa? Like, when did he leave? So it's, it's literally to leave or to emigrate, migrate, you know, Jackpa. So I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. You've not heard Jackpa before, tell me in the comments. Every, I'm sure everybody watching has seen or heard Jackpa, especially on these streets of YouTube, it's been such a thing in the past five years. It's been like the most trendy Pigeon English word in the past five years because <laughs> Nigerians really Jackpa do. Nigerians, <laughs> Nigerians Jackpa do. Look at this cute dog. Nigerians Jackpa in the past five years. You see, I'm saying Jackpa, meaning a lot of Nigerians really did the whole Jackpa thing. I don't like dogs. This dog is cute, but I'm scared. Let me show you. Okay, it has turned back. It was literally coming near me. <laughs> Not like can enter where I am, but I they fear dog. I like them from a distance, as in, ah, no, I find no, like, make animal be animal, make human being be human being. I just can't deal, because sometimes their head they touch. But this, of course, this one cannot harm me, but I'm scared of every single dog, puppy, every single tiny dog, I'm scared, I they fear. I they fear dog. Yeah, that's the pigeon, that's the pigeon way to say it. I they fear dog. I they fear every dog. Oh, look at how cute. They're fine, no, they're cute, too, but live and for there. I they fear. No come near me. Make them no come near me. Make dog no come near me because I they fear dog. The next one I'll be telling you guys is Kata. 
like scatter so obviously we know what scatter means like something being unkempt you know but for this purpose the way we use it we don't use it for a bad thing we use it to emphasize something for example or more the party scatter it means that the party was amazing like if i say everywhere scatter it means that there was mad fun there was mad fun like everywhere scatter there's a song that goes i'm all the party scatter i'm all the party scatter like the party scatter it means that that party was absolutely 100 percent fun you know so you can just like i'm all with the ghost scatter the place it means that we're going to paint that place red with the ghost scatter uk would they go scatter Lagos? Would they go paint Lagos? On this Friday, would they go scatter club? Would they go scatter everywhere? It means that we're just going to go all out for fun. Like, it's fun, fun, fun. Ah, on my next holiday, not to scatter everywhere. Like, no resting, no sleeping. It is fun all through. That's how we use the word scatter for the most part. Okay? So, I think I'm done with words. I'll just give you guys one or two phrases. I'm sure you've heard... Water don't pass Gary. Water don't pass Gary. So it means that the situation is beyond control at this point. So there is this meal, it's made from cassava. It's like cereal, okay? Let me describe it like this in case you don't know what Gary is, right? Imagine that you're making cornflakes or any form of cereal, and then the water is beyond the cereal. It's so much that the cereal has disappeared in the water do you understand so it means that it's, it's beyond it's beyond control at this point you can't do anything you have fucked you've messed up that meal do you understand so when you say water don't pass gary it means that see this situation is beyond i beg do you understand it's not a situation where you can easily beg your way out of or bribe your way out of like it's a very it has gotten to the top people it's a very very serious situation so uh um, water don't water don't pass gary you mm -hmm. That girl matters serious, so water don't pass Gary. It's a, it's, a, it's a sentence that we use a lot. Water don't pass Gary. It's beyond control, or it has gotten worse, or it's so bad. Oh, how is that person's health? That person that had cancer. Ha, ah, water don't pass Gary. Oh, that cancer don't reach stage four. Do you understand? So that's, that's what it is. And then the last one is a situation. The last, I'm closing this video with a situation that I am in at the moment. I don't hang boots. Omo, I don't hang boots. I don't hang boots means that I'm not having more babies. Okay? It's time for me to hang my boots. Like me now, this is my last child. I don't hang boots. I've, this is my third child. So, I don't hang boots. Like after this one, I don't hang boots. After this belay, I don't hang boots. Or after this belay, I go hang boots. It means that I've retired. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bearing kids anymore. I'm not having babies anymore. I don't hang boots, okay? You can tell your friend, ah, you go, you go hang boots. Oh. This time you don't burn four children. You be like, you go hang boots. Oh. Not true. If I burn this one, finish. I go hang boots. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I've missed you so much, and I wish that the algorithm takes this video to the people, especially that have been asking for videos. I have promised you guys. As a matter of fact, I even filmed one video, but I didn't like it. I'll try and edit it. I filmed it like maybe three weeks ago because I promised someone in the comments that that weekend I was going to put out content, but it's not really been easy, pregnant, and I have other kids, you know, but I'm happy. I hope that the algorithm takes this video to the people that need it. Thank Una. I thank Una. Okay, let me sing this song for you people. It was sung by Mama G, so if you're Nigerian, you know what I'm saying. My people, I thank Una. As Una make me Mama G, Una governor. This government now open the policy. If you like, you can stay in the corridor. That project, that refinery, hey, hey, hey. I go change them to brewery. We go enjoy as we they do for olden days. Every Friday go be public holiday. I will make my people happy. I will make everybody jolly. I will share the national moi moi. Divide the national cake. You chop your own. I chop my own. My government will not chop alone. Share the national moi moi. Divide the national cake. This is what I like. This government go import nama. Hey, it's a woo. Go they cheap. 
and as for Nepa and Dewa Allah, I go give everybody candle. Make them keep Nami be Mama G, original Mama G. Hey, G for general. G for good life. Listen to this. All the young men, whenever marry this administration, go dash them wide. Hey, I will make my people happy. I will make everybody jolly. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited to see you guys. Thank you guys so much. Please subscribe to this video, to this channel, if you like my videos and you want to learn more Pigeon English words and phrases. Your teacher is here, okay? I'm here for you. Don't worry, forgive me. I'll try to be more consistent, but we're in this together, okay? Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next